Imagine if the only round that mattered was yours. You make the tea time. You set the pace. St Andrew's Private Golf Club will only ever release a limited number of memberships. St Andrew's Private Golf Club. St Andrew's Beach, Australia. Own the course forever. St Andrew's provided the perfect setting for the British Open Golf Championship. And the huge gallery was entertained by all the thrills that go with it. In 1955 at St Andrews, Peter Thompson won the second of his five British Opens with a score of 281. Playing with no sign of nerves and producing his very best form, he went on to win at 281. At St Andrews Private Golf Club, there will only ever be a membership of 281. Welcome to the site of St Andrews Private, destined to be a great golf course and one of Australia's most exclusive golf clubs. Adjoining the existing Tom Doak St Andrews Beach Gunnamatta course, the new St Andrews Private will set a new benchmark on the Mornington Peninsula and offer one of the finest golf experiences in Australia. And we've also designed a contemporary golf clubhouse that will be robust and timeless with a genuine club ambience. This is a very profound lifestyle investment opportunity with features including free cuts, one free guest at all times, no trade days, just total privacy. And surrounded by the best the Mornington Peninsula can offer. Just over an hour from the Melbourne CBD. Wonderful beaches. Lovely drives. Extraordinary wineries and relaxed shopping. Take your time to read the brochure and the information memorandum. We look forward to you joining us at St Andrews Private Golf Club. pretty natural site, it's really, there's very little work to be done. It's sitting there, it's just like, you know, it's there to be uncovered basically. But in terms of the actual terrain, it's as good as anything on the peninsula. So that's the exciting part. And um, had my eyes on this land for a long time. We, we thought, you know, it'd be great to have something that's very special, like less than 300 members and, and number 280 was sort of bandied around and we thought, well, I said, just why don't we make it 281? That's, that was the score that Peter got when he, he was the first Aussie to win in the British Open at St Andrews. Peter's um, relationship with St Andrews is important and I think um, it's, it's a bit of a, be a legacy to him. Because of this, the, the natural terrain, we'll actually be looking for natural sites, so some of the greens, will, there'll be no construction at all, just be as it is, just we need to regrass them. So access is one thing, um, it's not very, won't be crowded. You'll be able to commune with nature and there'll be uh, a lot of bird life and kangaroos and things out there so it'll be a nice touch with nature and there'll be camaraderie, there'll be 300, less than 300 members, everyone will get to know each other and there'll be a lot of friendships, close friendships develop. It, it, it won't be the hardest golf course on the peninsula, it'll be by design it's going to be fun to play, that's the most important thing. So we, we're not out to torture the golfers, we're out to make, give them fun. Oh, it's as good as you'll ever get anywhere in the world. Seriously, it's, it may not have the surf crashing on the back of the hole like it might at Pebble Beach, but that aside, the golf, the golf itself will be as good as any in terms of the terrain. And it's got a lot of variety. There's uphill, downhill, cross slopes, tight holes, wide holes. It's got a real mixture. Like I say, there's only a small number of these memberships available and they will be passed, you can pass them on to your family in time, this will become a wonderful thing to, to be part of. This will be a golf experience that will be quite special. <laughs>